Alright, so this is the final round of the league. And this is six lands and an Ugin, so that's a mulligan. This is better, I at least can ramp into my Ugin now. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Miss Pilgrimage gives me land number four anyway, so I would like to have some early game if I can help it. Oh no, is this mono red? <laughs> then I would like to draw a Jadi offshoot. That would be good. Oh, it's not mono red. It's something else. Some token deck. <laughs> Ugin, that was not good. Oh well. Battlefield Forge, some token, maybe Jeska Ascendancy, and in that case he does not have blue mana yet. Maybe it's some brew. Gonna put board in Seismic Rapture, looks like. Yep. I guess I play Forest and I as well play Pilgrimage. I don't really care about spell mastery right now, so I might draw something I want to bolster on later. So gonna have turn six Ugin, but I'm gonna take a million damage, especially if this is Gideon. It's not, it's Mentor. Interesting. Uh, it's still a million damage, but at least Gideon would have been filthy. Oh, that's an interesting. I can actually cast it with my. Haven at some point, but I guess I might as well play Haven and vegetate a little bit for mountain and forest. And if I survive next turn, get to sweep the board anyway, then I might get burned out, of course, but I might die this turn. Right now, taking 11 and another spell is lethal. So it's unfortunate. I think I was pretty close to winning this game if he didn't kill me this turn. I mean, even if I survive, I'm gonna get burned out most likely. I don't think I have room for, to take in the fogs as well, even though they look fine. The problem is that I, I'm gonna have to take in four seismic ruptures, so. Yeah, this has to be Ugin. I mean, Atarka is better in the sense that I get a blocker if he has a haste creature, but. I can't kill all his creatures, so. Got a minus three. So that kills. Even if he plays a spell in response that kills the monk. Yep. And go. But if he doesn't draw a burn spell, could have a shot. Don't care about creatures right now that very much. I don't care about that, about that very much. Nissa is interesting. So if I cast Nissa, I can cast a Tarka and flip Nissa. So let's start by attempting to kill the mentor. Because if this fails, I can always cast uh, Dragon Lord or Tarka, right? Actually, I can't cast Nissa plus Atarka, but I can cast a single Atarka. So, let's see. I have 8 mana, so if I cast Nissa, I have 5 left. Get a forest, it doesn't work. Alright. Might cast Titan Strength in response, but then I cast Atarka. Okay, he didn't. So I kind of want to cast Nissa to D 
dig deeper in my deck, maybe find a Yaddy offshoot or something. I mean, Tarka doesn't kill anything right now, that, not that that's a huge deal, but... Uh, Tarka is a faster clock. I am scared of burn, but maybe I shouldn't be. Why? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna cast this. Get deep in my deck. Maybe if I Ullamog, I can kill his red sources. Got a plus. Ooh, that's a little bit of life gain. Play that, and now I can't get um, killed by Wild Slash at least. So that's kind of cool. Still dead to a Goblin Heal Cutter if he has it. Five mana. I mean, I'm not. I mean, Wingmate work doesn't do it because I have Ugin. I can plus Ugin, then play another one and plus it so I can keep my offshoot. Alright, Shrine. So I guess I start by plusing this up. Oh. Not terrible. Because that guess is another life. So. This turn I have 11 mana, so I can cast both Pilgrimage and Atarka. I go Shrine. Cast Pilgrimage. Actually... I could also cost Ugin to play around some Act of Treason type card, but it seems silly to play around it, but let's um, plus Ugin. Because um, I can cast Pilgrimage and Ugin, which puts me two turns away from ultimate yeah that's probably better I actually only want to get two forests here because if I draw explosive revelation I want to get both lands into play directly so I gain the life so I'm actually just gonna get two lands here could have only gotten one actually. Maybe this is too conservative, but this gets me to ultimate faster. Whirling out first, okay. So now it might be time for a Tarka. next turn. So unless there's some act of treason, I win. 
It was a sick game. <laughs> Thought I was dead, but apparently not. So I want to bring in four seismic rupture. I could bring in a rending volley to kill his mentor. I don't know. Because rending volley could potentially not kill a mentor. That would be bad. I think I take out one archive. Actually, take out one Ullamog. He's not that great against this token deck. I think two. I want to keep two though. Take out the scrying. And actually, I don't like hanging back too much. So, kind of want to put in maybe a rending volley. But he does have a lot of red creatures tokens in his deck. Killing Mentor is important, I think, so... Hmm. He's probably gonna play Mentor when he can hold mana up. I don't, don't think there's any way he plays it on only free land, so maybe Archive for Rending Volley. Might be sideboarding too much here, but... I don't know. scared <laughs> of his mental. I love that card. Play it in Legacy right now. So this would have been a good hand if I had another land. Although I don't have any ramp in my deck. Should I gamble? If I draw any land I can scrying for red mana that should be pretty sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble with this hand. Keeping a one land hand in a ramp deck that's pretty Ridiculous, but just <laughs> that was probably not a good one. But I have so many good cards in my hand, so offshoot seems very good. There we go. So now I'm gonna go scrying for. Red source. No wooded foot is because I, first of all I don't want to take damage and second of all I want to draw lands right now. So I'm blocking Kiffion here. Of course. And I hope it taps out for holding out first. Nope. Problem is Don't want this guy to flip, but I, I'm smelling a, a spell here. So maybe I go just offshoot plus mountain, and then I can rending volley Kiffin. Although he could gain indestructibility. I don't like the spot I'm in. Could also go hanger back and leave up red mana. Then, then he can't really uh, make Gideon indestructible. So I think I go mountain. Gain my life. And go hanger back. Because if I cost seismic rupture and he has oh he f6. Okay, <laughs> that's not good. Didn't know he f6. Oh well. So I lock like this, I think. I want him just to play a spell here. So I can kill his seeker. Okay, Kyphon gets indestructibility, then I just rending volley it. I don't want it to flip right now. Could have, um, what's it called? And Shrouding Mist. That would be kind of fun. But he didn't. So now I have to choose between Offshoot plus Rapture or Nissa. 
or I can also pump up the hangback so I get an additional token. I think that's better than a life spawn. You also go Nissa and offshoot, but then Nissa dies to rupture on eventually casting. So. so if he had Defiant Strike, surely would have he would have played it last turn on a seeker to kill my offshoot. So I'm gonna go for it. I would like to draw another ramp spell at some point. Oh, there's the mentor, that's a little scary. But he does not have that much, um, that many cards left in his hand. Nissa. And Fetchland. The question is if I attack. No, I think I just chill. So drawing a ramp spell would be pretty sick. Because then I can flip Nissa. Okay. Three here. Should probably board in more men, uh, say, rending volleys since he also plays Kithion and Seekers. Flip Nissa. So I'm gonna hope he doesn't have a removal spell for Nissa. And as I said, Ulamog is not great in this matchup. Much rather have Ugin. So we'll see. Here comes the team, probably. Yep. I'm kind of afraid of that. So, I'm gonna offshoot on Monk and Fopters on Goblin. Kind of expecting a Titan Strength here, but that's gonna kill my offshoot no matter how I block. Not taking too much, and he's not casting a spell this turn since he would have done that to deal additional damage, so this is gonna flip. I still don't think I dare to attack here. I mean, there's no point. I'm not killing my opponent with damage. I probably could attack for 2 free damage here, but I think flipping Nissa is so important. That I'm gonna plus. Because I wanna hit lands or spells. Almost anything is good. And yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I can cast Ulamog next turn probably. So I cast Archive. And go on a pilgrimage. Also gains me more life. I, I should have spell mastery here. I'm gonna try to protect my Nissa. I think it's worth Losing an Angeli offshoot to kill Nissa, to protect Nissa, I should say. And my opponent's draw has been very bad. He also seems to be playing some kind of budget, budget deck, but. Yeah, what are you gonna do? So, so he's attacking with everything on Nissa, yeah. I'm gonna protect. 
thickness the maximum amount all right still rather plusness I think and hitting a land is two life that's pretty good all right So I'm gonna play Ullamog and probably get another one. Uh, two, three, and ten. I can bluff a rending volley. Not that my opponent can play around it. Gonna get rid of two of his creatures. And my opponent had enough. Okay, cool. It looks like I'm getting my prices immediately, that's kind of sweet. Didn't know you could, you should get it. So I get one booster, one qualifier point, and 120 play points. So I, for 4 1, I went one booster and 40 play points plus if you join with play points. So uh, it's not as good as the prices were previously, but I kind of like being able to play at any time. So. You have to take the good with the bad, I guess. The daily events are gone, basically. They're very bad, so... What are you gonna do? You have to make the best with what you got. So I, I kinda like the structure of the league. So, this was the standard league. Thank you for watching.